video tape moves? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Just in, just in case something goes wrong. You can have content. <laughs> Alright, everyone ready? One, two, three. Oh, okay. Smart, on the smart. Oh, shit. Okay, we didn't quite go far enough. Hmm? We didn't quite go far enough. We yeah, gotta get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this ground needs to be a lot tighter. Go ahead. So our first plan was to put the batteries, hang them from this uh, 2x6, and basically just have all four of us carry it to the car. But that proved pretty impractical once we figured out how much effort that would actually require. So we've gotten out the bigger hammer. This is our the old Dotson forklift that Dad has restored to operable condition. And that's what we're going to use to get the battery out of the shop and into the car. The plan being to basically poke it through the doors here and we're going to set up some sort of cradle to set it on and then once it's in like that we're going to figure out how to slide it backwards into its final position.
about the back of the computer in the back of your door? All right, we've screwed a wooden brace in the middle to keep these from tipping over or doing anything weird. And now we're just gonna pull the battery back. Oh, hang on. Okay, so you got some carpet down here. Yeah. Do we need to go? Oh, we're going, uh, pretty, we're we going the right direction, or... right? You'll go over it. You sure? Yeah. It looks there's pretty... a piece under it. There's something under there, but I think you'll go over it. It's plastic. Two. Stop. We are very, very close to those holes lining up there. Yeah, right here. There. Is that where it goes in this? Yeah, in that well. Make sure that we're ready. So we are three quarters of an inch from being back far enough. Okay. That is pretty freaking close right there. Now what we gotta do is get two by four out of there. Yeah. Mom, you can stop. What you doing? Um, that's not how they got in there. All right, we're gonna take these two by fours out now. We've lifted up the front with the bottle jack and the back with some blocks. Okay, wow. Uh, we managed to put the put these in here in the span of a single evening, which is pretty great. Um, all we did was just use a 2x4 to lever it the, this side up so we could get the blocks out from under here. We are not exactly, but we're I think we're like quarter inch. So tomorrow I will basically just slide this into position. Um, those holes are... You can't quite see it, but they're pretty damn close too. And that's where this is going to rest, which is just amazing to see. They're well behind the door, so the back seat will probably do all right. Um, yeah, that's great. Here's the prototype for the first additional brace that I'm going to use for the battery pack. So basically this piece runs back to one of the seat belt mount points. And then this piece captures the two threaded rods on this side of the battery. And all I did was cut out a chunk from there. And that mates up to the other piece where I can weld basically there and there, back, and then all along this side too. So it should be really good and welded tight on there. And then I've got a grade 8 7 16 bolt holding it into the car. I'll do the same thing on the other side over there. And then I'm working, gonna work on a thing to capture those center ones as well and sort of connect them back to this cross member. And that'll be what I use to hold the battery in place if there's a collision or something. I've added a like top brace for the batteries now. So there's one on that side and then the one over here. So you can see where I left the part on the thing that goes to the back seatbelt mount there and then welded all the way around there to the part that connects to the batteries. So that way I can capture these two threaded rods in a way that connects it really solidly to there. I also swapped those threaded rods for medium strength threaded rods from McMaster, which they say are about twice as strong as the normal ones. So hopefully that helps a little bit too. The benefit of these is that now, in the event of a like frontal collision, the batteries are supported from both the top and bottom, whereas with just the bottom, there'd be some leverage there from the top battery being so far up relative to the mount. This 
should eliminate a lot of that leverage to help keep the batteries from coming forward. Okay, I've made some plates to go behind the two uh, supports here. So there's a few inches of M10 uh, grade 10 threaded rod. And that links back to this heavy duty steel plate here. So I'm gonna weld those on the sides and top to the structure in the car. much and I burn through. Here's the two complete reinforcement plates. So their goal basically is to keep these bolts from being pulled through or otherwise ripping apart this cross brace here. I've just welded them into around the corner or around the sides there, right onto the sheet metal. And that's actually going to be the last piece of battery mechanical stuff for the time being with those two things on the sides, these things, and the shelf. And I'll also end the video here. So now I'm going to get to actually putting together some of the electrical parts, and I'll see you then.